what do we have here? Amazing. Hey guys, so this might be something exciting for you. It's uh, probably one of the first uh, wings that runs uh, AIO and full INAV. So with the help of uh, Hanfer from Discord, uh, we got a custom INAV uh, 7.1 uh, target and we flashed it onto this Beta FPV F4 223S 20 amp uh, old one. So what we have now is we have uh, everything from the ELRS to two ESCs running the props to also using UART1 to drive the servos. And you can see here, uh, it's, it's running, let's see, set up. So we got the, we got the accelerometer uh, running. Um, ELRS is connected, so you have, the, you have the servos reacting when you go to outputs. Oops, here, uh, enable motors. You see we have, the, we have the motors running as well, left and right. So what we're gonna do next is uh, go to the field and see if this wing actually flies. So we're at the spot, ready to maiden before the rain comes. After the flight, I will do a short description of the parts used, but for now, let's see if she flies. And the best feature of INAV is of course, auto launch. So now we're back uh, and Maiden was pretty successful. I did a total of three flights. The first one was to do uh, auto tune and auto leveling and setting the rates. And then second one and third one was just uh, freestyling, goofing around. And all in all, yeah, uh, really happy. You can get the full advantages of using INAV, including uh, OSD. Uh, you'll see from the DVR, the OSD was all over the place because I just didn't uh, remember to set the elements right, but you see everything the throttle and the mode and the system messages, etc. The rest is uh, the same as the other uh, S2 build from the other video that I will link below. You even see where the ESCs were before the, the dents. But it's the 1103 motors, 2 inch props. Uh, if I've upgraded to a 1S V3 VTX, and then on the bottom you see the 2S LiPo with the your 85 whoop frame brackets and yeah I think it has a lot of advantages um, instead of having hundreds of cables and two ESCs and uh, back and a separate receiver um, you just get with one all-in-one that has two ESCs ELRS uh, for INAP on board you have much less cable so one clean cable instead of a whole mess uh, the soldering was a little bit finicky because you have to access like really small um, TX RX pads on this flight controller. But other than that, uh, everything as expected. So I want to thank you again, Hanfer, for doing this. And I'm super excited to be testing all-in-ones on wings now. Running full INAV uh, has so many advantages. From what I understand, Hanfer is doing this in his free time. So 
know, he's not going to make hundreds of different AIO targets. But for now, at least we have a, a 1 to 2s version and this AIO here, which is the 2 to 3s version. And if you want the hex file for this one, I'm happy to send it to you. Um, again, thank you for watching and see you soon.